Hello everyone. So here I have a Vio Z canvas. I took this thing apart because my battery got extremely bloated. I actually cracked the screen because it became so bloated. One thing I just want to show is there really aren't too many videos of this thing being disassembled. Since I took it apart, I just wanted to have a couple of pointers, what to watch out for, and how it's done overall. Now, the most annoying thing is, you can't really see it too well here, but there are three little screws that are essentially inside the top grate. You'll see them through the grate. So if you're looking at the top of the tablet where the fans vent, inside that vent, there are three little screws. Once you take that thing off, a little piece of plastic comes out, and at this point, the device is ready to be taken apart. Now, the tricky part is getting it all off without breaking the screen. So essentially, you're just pulling along each end and the screen will, will lift up. Now to show you kind of how the connectors on the screen look. Take a look here. So these are the connectors and they fit all around. There's quite a few different ones and there's, there's also a few that are shaped like, like this. Here, let me see if I can turn it around so you can see a little better. Yeah, they're shaped like this. Now, it, it wasn't that easy getting this off. I just want to say, if you're, if you're actually trying to take this apart and put it back together, be very, very gentle getting the screen off because it can be pretty easy to crack. Like I said, my screen is already cracked due to the battery, but I definitely damaged it a little more while taking it apart. So just take your time. It, it, I don't think it was that difficult. You just have to go very slow. Now, I've read another disassembly video before and it talked about how this cable is very flimsy. In fact, I'm actually surprised. It, it's really not that bad. It has a very standard one of these clips where the little plastic opens up and closes so and in fact it has one on each side of the video cable so you can choose which one you want to pick off and this makes it fairly easy to take it off uh, at first i thought it would be a little more difficult smaller just i wasn't really sure what i was looking at now the only thing i've really done since is take off the battery and that the battery was here there were a couple bolts along the side nothing really too major the battery connector came onto here and since then I removed the battery and currently the display is unplugged. I plugged in the device and it turned on. Windows seemed to come, actually Linux came right back up. Everything was fine even with the screen completely disconnected here. The, the only thing that's connecting the top panel right now are the Wi-Fi cables. And this is the device. As you can see, it has two SSD slots has a Wi-Fi card slot that are all can be replaced. The RAM is soldered on. So you can't really do too much there. It seems like you could also remove the heat sink and clean it up a bit. Just to show, the fans are actually not that dirty considering this device has been on basically 24-7 for three years. And that's it. So if you're interested in upgrading your VOZ canvas, it's, it's really not that difficult. Um, so yeah, as you can see, my battery is really warped. I mean, this thing is, wow, holy shit. I've, I've, I've never seen a battery this warped before. In fact, I'm like afraid to even hold this thing. Um, but yeah, overall this has been an excellent device. The major limiting factor for me has been the eight gigs of RAM. So if this was a 16 gig version, it would be significantly more useful to upgrade this. You could put a terabyte SSD in this. It's, it's really an excellent device. In fact, it, I really give it almost no cons. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. I, I almost wish the keyboard was just attached, so it wasn't separate. That's probably my main con, the keyboard quality and the, the typing on it. And the fact that it's just disassembled. But if this was a standard laptop, it would still be a very fast laptop, as it is a quad-core i7 processor. It's not like a regular Ultrabook processor you'd have a couple of years ago. As you can see, it has three fans for one CPU. It's pretty heavy duty. Anyone has any questions? Just pretty much, like I said, I made this video to just show the inside of this, how it comes apart. There's nothing else holding it inside except these clips and the top bar, which basically uses three screws to kind of keep the entire thing package held together. And that's it.